Hey there everyone, welcome back to the Draki series here. This is Jason and welcome to another Minecraft Command Blocks tutorial video. Within this video, I'm going to be going back to the basics pretty much and I'm going to be showing you how to make a block detector in Minecraft using Command Blocks, that is right. So you should watch this video if you want to know how to use an execute if block command and how to actually use that to be able to detect particular kinds of block. So as you can see right here, I have a very small uh, command block detector right here. This command block detector only needs two command blocks in order to actually function. And I'm gonna be showing you how you actually make this. Now, the idea is, is that in the, at this exact spot right here, um, if I place down a particular block, the detector will activate. So if I place down some oak planks, you can see that the detector is not working. But if I put a block of diamond in this area, you can see that the detector is now active. And then if I remove the add the diamond block, you can see that the detector is now deactivated. So I'm gonna show you how to make this in the game right here. So I'm in Minecraft 1.19.2 and I'm on the Java edition right here. And I am also going to be showing you these commands in a text editor so that you can see them more clearly and I can explain what they're actually doing. But first of all, what I like to do is I like to go through the various steps that the commands are actually doing before we actually write the command itself. So as you can see, there are two command blocks right here. They're, they're both facing into each other. And the first one is a repeating command block and this one is a chain command block. And also what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure they are always active on both so they can actually operate without redstone attached to them. So um, how does this detector actually work? Well, the idea is, is that um, it places the lit redstone lamp above this detector if it is activated. Now, this is just a very simple effect that I'm showing you within this video. You can do a lot more than that. So for example, a different thing you could do is you could place a block of redstone and then take it away. That's another mechanism you could do, or you know, you could place a redstone torch or you could activate another command. There's a lot of things you can actually do with this. The main point of this video is show you the main commands and mechanisms you need in order to detect a particular block in the game. This works for any block that you can think of in the game and as I say any block I place right here will be detected. Now using these signs I'm going to kind of explain how this detector actually works. So this first command block right here what it does is it uh, uh, checks for lamp and uh, removes if present okay so that that is what the first command block does it checks to see if there's a lamp on the detector and removes if the block is present now what the second command block does is it checks so it checks uh, for target block and if present place lamp okay so that is what the second one does now the reason why this actually works and it turns into this sort of detector basically what ends up happening is this first command block if there is a lamp above this detector right here it will remove the lamp automatically now the reason why that works is because it allows the detector to turn on and off in a sort of reactive manner. So as soon as the block is not the target block, so as soon as the uh, the diamond block is placed, you can see it places the lamp, but as soon as the target block disappears, the detector turns off automatically. And the reason why is because of this two-step process. So it checks for the lamp and removes it if it's present, but if the target block is present, it places the lamp back in again. So essentially what happens is when this block is in place, this is an infinite redstone lamp that is actually activated for the detector. And when you remove the target block, you can see that this command block will then remove it, but the target block is no longer present, so the lamp is not placed on the detector again. So that is what that two-step process is, and I'm now gonna show you in a text editor the two commands that are being used for this detector. 
All right, everyone, we're now in the text editor right here, and I'm going to be showing you now the command that you need in order to get this to work. So the two commands that you need. So the first one we're going to go through here is the command that removes the redstone lamp at the position and replaces it with air. So how we actually do that is we need to use an slash execute if block command and using relative coordinates, we are using these coordinates right here so that we can actually target where the lamp is going to be. So minus one in the X direction and one block up. And that is in my particular case, it may be different for you, but I'm just doing that for this detector. And within here, we're going to be checking for Minecraft colon redstone lamp like that. So we're going to be checking for the redstone lamp at that position, at that block coordinate. And we're going to then do run set block and we're going to use the same relative coordinates as before. And then we're going to do Minecraft colon air like that. So that is what we need to use to actually um, get rid of the lamp in the first instance. So that is the first step. Now, the second command right here is actually us targeting the target block. Now, in my case, my target block is a diamond block, but you could make it any block whatsoever that you choose. So in my case, uh, we need to actually check if the block at a particular position is a diamond block. So in order to do that, it's fairly similar to the command above. So in my case, I have to go three blocks in the X direction to actually reach the, the sort of location I am checking for. Now, again, this might be different in your case, but for this detector, that is the relative coordinates we are using. And we're going to be checking for Minecraft colon diamond underscore block like that. And if the diamond block is there, we're going to run a set block and using these relative coordinates right here, we are going to place a lit redstone lamp directly above the second command block. So using those relative coordinates, that will happen. And we're going to do Minecraft colon redstone lamp. And then we're going to do lit equals true like that, okay? And using those two commands, we can actually create the block detector that we are using in this video. All right, everyone, the one thing I am going to say just before I end this video is how to actually find out the block ID or the Minecraft block tag or ID that you need to find out in order to target a particular block because I've shown you how to do a diamond block, but what if you want to do other kinds of blocks? Now, what you need to do in order to actually find out this information is if you're in creative mode, and if you're using the debug features, you can use F3 and H. And you need to make sure that if you use the F3 and the H key, it says advanced tooltips shown, okay? And if you then go into the creative uh, menu right here, if you hover over these blocks, you can see that it now specifies the Minecraft ID for that block. So if I wanted to detect a dispenser, I would use Minecraft colon dispenser. If I wanted to detect a slime block, I would use Minecraft colon slime and slime underscore block. So I thought I would bring that up in case you want to choose a particular block you want to detect. All right, everyone, that's about it for this Minecraft command block tutorial video. Hopefully you found this useful and you learned some new tips and tricks on how to actually use a block detector in your game. But thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video and learn something new, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure to click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos on the channel. And be sure to follow my Twitter, which is on screen now and in the description. But uh, yeah, it's been fun showing you guys this and hopefully you have some more stuff in your command block arsenal and i'll see you guys next time take care and bye bye